Hello everyone, Jeff Bauman here, and here is another tutorial for my EBB 45 585 students. Now, this tutorial is going to focus on lesson best practices or additives. Something extra, something to make your lesson just be awesome. And for this task, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I would like you to include three extra best practices, or as I like to call them additives, like little fine spice that you throw on a recipe um, to enhance your science unit plan, okay? And a lot of these ideas come from uh, the stay at home order that we're currently in right now at the time I'm filming this. And these are things that I've had to use because science is different. There's when you're not meeting with students in a classroom, you can't teach hands-on science, which is a bummer. Um, and sometimes you have to make do. And so for your unit plan, you must include three extras, okay? And what I have here is a list of some possible options for you to pick from. So in one of your lessons, you can have your students go on a virtual field trip. So my example here was the Georgia Aquarium, and this was something that I was using during one of my enrichment um, lessons from home is students went to the Georgia Aquarium. They tried to identify as many different species as they could in, the, um, in one of their, their whale shark tanks, I believe it was. Um, you can include simulations, and an example here is the Invasion Game by Brain Pop. Really cool, and this is where the um, you take on the role of the Asian carp, or you have to try and stop the Asian carp from getting into Lake Michigan. That's a really cool simulation. There are others on the internet. Um, you can use interactive games. One of the examples here is Whack-A-Bone, and this is one where you learn about um, bones in the human body. Really fun. Um, if you choose to go a game route, you can use Quizzes, Kahoot, Quizalize. These are all great resources and they link very well to your Google, Cl Google Classroom, which you're going to be working on um, for your final project. Now, here's the big thing. If you say you're going to use Quizzes, Kahoot, or Quizalize, you have to make a game that goes along with it. You can't just say in your lesson plan, I am going to use Quizzes for my lesson and not build the game. The whole point of the lesson plans is to not only plan the lessons out, but you are also going to create all the learning materials that are needed to go along with them. So you can't just say I'm using Kahoot and not have a Kahoot game. Understand what I'm saying? So when you look back at your instructions for the lesson plans, some of your points that you earn are for submitting all of the learning materials needed to go along with the lesson, okay? So again, in this instance, if you're going to use a game, build the game. Make it worthy of your time as well. Don't just go build a Kahoot game with three questions on it. Um, make sure you have as many that are needed to go along with the lesson, to enhance the lesson and promote student learning. Um, you can use interactive maps like a Google Earth. You can use real world data collection websites. And an example I dropped here was NASA Global Climate Change. So if your science unit is focusing on climate change, um, you can use something like that. Uh, citizen science, if you want students to go outside and use the Globe Observer app, uh, that is a really cool one to do. I have students use Globe Observer at Shoemate and um, definitely enhances student learning. And if you have any other ideas, you must email me and I have to approve of the idea before you are allowed to use it. So if it's not on this list, you have to send me an email and I will either say yes or no. And um, then we can decide what we're going to do. So if you have a different idea, um, please email me. But don't email me and say, hey, Jeff, I want to use this worksheet to do the task. No, this is to enhance these are really big things and your science unit shouldn't solely focus on worksheets it should focus on data collection learning science by doing science or as some guy at shoemate middle school says getting science done all right so these are all big things that go along to enhance learning again all of these have to be linked in your google classroom when you post your your lesson plans inside of your google classroom so you're going to have to post these in your google classroom as well 
So when you wrap it up and you're finished, um, what I'd like you to do on Canvas, give me a text entry and let me know the best practices or additives that you're using and what lessons they are in. So if in lesson one, if you have your students taking a virtual field trip to the Georgia Aquarium, I would enter that in a text response on Canvas. In lesson three, if they're using Google Earth, uh, let's say lesson um, five, they're going outside and taking um, tree height measurements using the Globe Observer app. That's all that you are going to enter in your um, text response on Canvas here when you go to submit. Make sure you pay attention to the due dates and my rubric that's attached. And also I will be looking for these uh, when I grade your online Google Classroom assignment toward the end of the semester. So if you say they're there, they better be there, okay? So these are three best practices or super awesome things that you're gonna add to your lesson to make it just that much better. And you need to include these three extras while um, are building your lesson plans. Any questions, please email me. Make sure you're getting science done. And I uh, hope this helps you understand what's expected of this lesson or this, yeah, this, this activity. So with that being said, thank you very much for listening and have an awesome day.